right, we killed this old boar hog about 10 minutes ago. There are always wonders to it. Do we eat them? Yes, we eat these hogs. In the summertime, we concentrate on the boar hogs because they're not breeding. They're laying around, as you can see, he's been in the mud. And all he's concerned about is eating and getting fat and getting ready for the rut. He'll chase them sows in the fall, starting in September. The sows are skinny. They got pigs on them. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But we try to concentrate on killing the boar hogs in the summertime. And we do eat them. I'm fixing to show you how we process them. We take the hind quarters, the straps, and the shoulders, and we donate the rest of the critters. But uh, we try not to waste them. And this ham is good and thick. Let's do it right quick. hair and the dirt off. I'll peel this hide back. Oops, I don't want to do that too many times. Come on around on his butt. right in here right in front of his pelvis is right here I'm gonna cut straight down I'm gonna follow that backbone I'll come down follow that pelvis around yeah those muscles are still twitching what I'm trying to get to is this ball socket right here see that ball right there you gonna stick your knife down in there We're butchering this hog quick. It's 90 degrees out here. He didn't get hot. He didn't get stressed out. This meat will stay fresh and we can get it off the core of this body. Get it away from his intestines and stuff. And once we lay it out, the air can get to it and it'll cool off pretty quick and get the body heat out of it and we'll get it down and pack it nice. Now we got this joint right here. I'm going to cut straight across, find that joint, pop that joint, get in there, get us a, get us a finger hold in there, got that meat, there we go, now we got a feed sack laid out, there's that joint, when you stick your knife down there, there's what's holding that ball socket here, that little old tendon. You stick your knife in that ball socket and pop it, out comes that ball socket. Like I said, we lay them on a feed sack. Let's get the back straps down on this side. That pretty loin. down the front of his shoulder. Now I can peel this back. That fine shot placement by Mr. Lee, we didn't mess up that shoulder. That shoulder's some of the best eating meat on the pig. trying to get this back strap out first before I need that shoulder. Peel it back a little bit. Got a little bit of dirt. Not much. A couple little pieces of hair. Keep that meat clean. Get it home and clean it up. Now you see the back strap right in here. Here's the pelvis. It starts the pelvis. 
take it and peel it off that peel it off pull that shoulder back a little bit that back strap goes all the way up into his neck see this is your pork chops on your wild hog or your pork loin on these wild hogs, they don't have the meat on them a domestic hog has on them. So you don't get to cut them up and have the bone in pork chops. Sure get some fine fry meat though. Like I said, we're getting the hide off of him, getting the meat off of him. Good clean back strap. that air out. Go over here and do a little redneck knife sharp. <laughs> the knife gets dull. Go back and forth on that window. It's kind of like using a butcher stick. Put that little bit of edge back on this knife. And this ain't the best knife in the world. It's a little old $3 paring knife. But you see what we're doing to that pig with it. shoulder blade get your finger underneath pick it up take that shoulder come on down come in the front of it cut it off we're going to go down here to this big joint and this joint's a little tricky and it's a little bit of a balancing act holding on to this hog like i said he's fresh okay here's the elbow come in behind the elbow we're gonna cut all around this joint right here. And what you're gonna find, you're gonna have to put a little pressure on it. This one's a pretty tough, but see, once I put a little pressure against, see how it opened up? Booyah. There's one fine pork roast for the crock pot, for the barbecue pit, whatever you say. But then you know, we got the hind quarters, the shoulder, the back strap off this side of the hog. And that's what we do. We're gonna roll him over right quick. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess, but we're gonna roll him over and we're gonna get the other side off of him. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spin him around. and get bloody anyway but keep my meat a little cleaner I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna cut right across the front of that shoulder like I did that last one all the way down the front leg alright we'll pick this hide up find where we started my main thing is don't ever cut the hair always cut under the hide the more hair you cut the more you can get on your meat maybe we loosen this up a little bit on the shoulder all right peel it back keep on going there's that back straps opened up okay we come underneath here our hind quarter come around get in the front of it all right first things first let's peel this back a little further and we'll get our shoulder and our back straps first
lot of people wait on a hog like this. Get it back to camp and gut it and skin it. Well, we got a long ways to go. We got more hunting to do. We'll knock the heat out of this meat. And that's the whole trick of wild game. Bad taste. The faster you can get it taken care of, the better it's going to be on the table. Like I said, this old boar, people get a bad impression about eating wild hogs. They'll go out and shoot the first big hog they see. A lot of times it's a boar. And uh, especially in the fall is when they're chasing the sows and they are rank. They got a very strong flavor. Again, let's have a little education here. There's the elbow. Cut in behind it. Cut all the way around that joint. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put a little tension against it. Now it will pop once you hit the right spot. It's a little bit of a booger. There it opens up. it's a pain I'm trying to keep this meat as clean as possible too there we go there's that shoulder with a fine poke roast put it up there make sure it's open to there a couple of hairs will knock off right quick Pull his hand back ribs. I'm going to switch knives right quick. See if this one's a little sharper. Oh yeah, a lot better. Believe it or not, I'm a deer processor and a taxidermist as well. I got dull knives with me all the time. But one of my best friends is a knife maker. And hell, he never has a knife in his pocket. And neither do I have one of his fancy custom-made knives. But anyway... Here we go, I'm getting another pretty pork going. Cut this little booger up in medallions and grill it or tenderize it and fry it. Wrap it up in some foil with some veggies and roast it. There we go, another back strap. And we're gonna get this last end. Get a little hair off. Here's our pelvis again. I'm gonna go right in front of that pelvis. Follow that pelvis down, back around to the tail, follow the bone, and we're looking for that ball joint from on the other side of me. Pull it back, cut a little finger hole in there, put some pressure on it, and there's that ball joint. Once you get that ball joint popped, it's it's home free. See that little tendon right there? Cut that tendon and we are ready to get this hind quarter off. Just like that. I've got to that joint. Anyway, boys and girls, just prove we won't waste this stuff. That's what we do with these hogs. I'm going to put it on Facebook Messenger. Somebody wants some pig meat in Fair, Texas. Give me a call. We got it ready for you this morning. We'll be barbecuing this afternoon. Come back and see us again. Redneck Rhapsody. YouTube. Bye.